Now, Monty, last year at Taronga Zoo, I was actually attacked by a pelican. This is vision that you haven't seen, so let's roll the tape. I just want to show you how, how deadly and how dangerous this attack actually was. Ah! Here we go. <laughs> now, these are, these are very, very dangerous, beastly birds, uh, you, Monty. You're backing up to that bird. Uh, no, you? look, I fronted up. I uh, fronted up to that bird and uh, I, I took it on head to head. Now, I know, so there he went, he, he just kept going for me. Mean birds don't work, but you had a, a little uh, encounter of your own. Can you run us through this one? They're not supposed to be terrifying. That's not quite working on me yet. Monty. I don't mind. I'm a bit nervous, Monty. Steve. Lizzie doesn't believe. I don't believe Lizzie it. doesn't believe that's a real Monty, croc. Monty, can you prove to me that that crocodile's a a alive? Can you prove to Liz and Steve that that crocodile's alive without oh, upsetting me? Towards the end. Will. Towards the end. Because Liz, bear with me. I'm terrified. Okay. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Paul. I can't believe you. I believe you. Believe. Get on with it, Monty. Yeah, quick. Do Should the we weather. Do the weather man? and get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Sit there very quietly while we have a look at the weather. No, I don't want I don't want him to come around at me. <laughs> Monty's working in front of a huge audience out there as well. Come on, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Hey, come on, get back into it. I can't believe you took off, oh, Monty. Oh, no. Monty, you yeah, don't believe that guy, do you? Oh. <laughs> this this was uh, one of my gold moments here, jumping into the next pin where there was another crocodile. <laughs> Monty, uh, we're, we're really a smart breed. <laughs> Darwinism should have cleaned us up many decades ago. I don't want to compare uh, apples and oranges, but uh, you've got to say, I think it's been proven that there have been more deaths from pelican attacks than there have been from crocodile oh, attacks. What are you saying? There's no integrity in getting attacked by a pelican. At least, <laughs> At least I, I was playing run. in the big end of town. Uh, you know, I, I, I fought that beast with my bare hands. And when I say bare hands, I mean bare bottom. But anyway, I was... Very funny, Steve. I was there. Funny. All right, when animals attack... Carl and Lisa, we've had many over the past few years and hopefully we've got a few more to come. I think so, Stevie. I think so. <laughs> Look forward to the next edition. Now, it has been 30 years. A long time, isn't it? And how lucky we have been um, to have been allowed into your homes every day yeah. for the past three decades. Yeah, it's an absolute privilege every mm. morning. And today we are absolutely thrilled to welcome back Tracy Grimshaw and the original Steve Liebman and in London, Sue Kellaway. <laughs> How great it is to see you all so good. back together. Look at my original partner in the studio in London. How she good she is. such a glamour, isn't she? She always <laughs> was. Hi, Kel. <laughs> It's the middle of the night here for me, and I'm all by myself in this lonely little oh, studio. I oh, can't so see did, anything, you did break but I can TV. hear you. So you know what uh, yeah, the middle I of can the do night anything. feels like. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sue, um, take sure us do. back to that very first show 30 years ago. What do you remember about the show? Whoa. Well, um, I remember mostly uh, jubilation and exuberance because we'd spent months and months and months preparing for that opening day, you know, arguing about the set and who would sit where and going out and shooting interviews so that we could use them when we needed them. And finally the day came and I think for a while we wondered that it w whether it ever would happen. Yeah. You know, the media kept saying, no, 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 the show will never come off and it won't happen. But it did, and you're still there 30 years later. So we must have done something right. Lebo, for you? Oh, I, th I, th I think that the thing that, I mean, I wasn't excited or nervous. I mean, to me, it was, we're on air, let's go for it. Yeah. I don't think we realised in the early stages, though, how close we were to not getting or not staying on the air. And for that, we really owe an awful lot to Sam Chisholm because I remember Sam Chisholm said to Sue and I at one stage you leave the battles to me you just take care of the show and he went and fought the battles and got the network extended and kept the relay stations you know on on online mm. kept Kerry Packer happy <laughs> um, so we owe it no, Sue we do we, we owe an awful lot to Sam Chisholm a big debt to Sam Chisholm, yes. Yeah. Uh, it, it would have died a thousand deaths without Sam because it was a tough road to hoe. It, it was. was all completely new. It hadn't been done before. Nobody knew how to do it. We were flying by the seat of our pants a lot of the time. Yeah. 
And, and Steve, and the, you told me a, a great story the other day about, because Kerry Packer was very passionate about this program when it began, <laughs> what his brief yeah. was about how he wanted the show to come together, how he saw it. I remember we had a, a momentous meeting with him in Park Street. And I remember, I'll never forget, he said to those of us that were there, um, it's my way, in as many words, it's my way or the highway. Do it my <laughs> way and, and just tell me how many noughts you want on the check. Do it your, mm. the way you think you, you're going to do it and it's no go. And he said he wanted it to be a, an amalgam of the Daily Telegraph uh, or the Herald Sun, um, the Sydney Morning Herald or the Age and the Women's Weekly. <laughs> he wanted a blend of all of that. Mm. And that's what we set out to do. Well, that's easy. And yeah. I, th oh, yeah. I think he got it. I think he got it. Yeah. I think he did. Yeah. So, Georgie here, you went out on the road, you got to do some, some really great celebrity interviews, some huge names. They were huge names at the time. Um, yeah, I remember them. I went to Los Angeles with a producer, with Janet, who did most of the work, I have to confess. And I just got to sit down and sort of ogle all these famous people. I was terribly impressed by most of them. Um, I remember Sly Stallone, and I still see him. He comes and stays at the hotel next to our home in Hawaii. And he's still just the same little very sort of oh, neat little. and <laughs> muscular um, and he has all his all his bodyguards are the same size as he is which is interesting and they all stand up off their deck chairs and they're all five foot three but the wife of the day is very tall she's in the days, you know over six feet that is fine. and um <laughs> Yeah, th th it was a it was a great time. You know, yeah. it was it was something that we were preparing rolls and rolls of things in case we ever ran out of uh, interviews and had a bad day, which we didn't really have. We did use all the interviews, I remember. Because Kel, we work civilized hours. Did we came on air at seven o'clock yeah. in the morning? Oh, nine yeah. o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Sorry to rub that no, in. We're yeah. only we <laughs> hey, um, just Tracy. Yes, what, what? I noticed that the hours seem to have earlier and earlier, and all have my sympathy. <laughs> but found it very difficult to be there at four in the morning. Yeah. And then we, and Ian Frickberg used to work us till very late at night, so we did work long hours, even though we didn't start at six in the morning. He's like but that. We were just there. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Thank you um, um, very much. You, you two are going to be with us, um, Tracy. You haven't said a word yet. I know you're busting to say a lot. I know you, I'm shy. You, you know I'm shy. <laughs> oh yeah, Tracy. Yeah, reticent. You might even get her to tell the story of how she got me drunk. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> well, that yes. wasn't hard. And that's up. what oh, happened. Yeah. <laughs> and isn't you're that a funny? Cheap drunk. Because Lisa got me drunk too once. It's funny about that. It's a female co-host <laughs> tradition, isn't it, Trace? That's yeah. right. Thank you. Set them up for the fall. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll come back to you in a second. Um, thank you very much, Sue. Um, let's um, now look back at Liz Hayes, though. Um, you've had more partners than I did, um, Lebo. Um, and it started, obviously, with Sue and then Lizzie. Now, Lizzie couldn't be with us today, unfortunately, because she's on time uh, for 60 minutes. But I did manage to catch up with her for a look back. Good morning, everyone. I'm Steve Liebman. And I'm Elizabeth Hayes. Good to have you with us on Monday, November 10th. I can't remember it. <laughs> It's a blur, isn't it? <laughs> well, it was 26 years ago. Yeah. Uh, day one. Look, I'll tell you what I think it was like. Uh, horrific, probably. Mm. I, you know, a mix of uh, excitement, exhilaration and fear or, and terror. Absolute terror. And Lebo. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take his record off him and play your shot? Doesn't mm. matter whose record is used to hit a ball. <laughs> Did you, are you, have you fully recovered? You need a holiday. <laughs> Steve Liebman um, is quite an extraordinary journalist and, and presenter in his own right. And Man, you and he very much were the people his... that Australia woke up to. I was the one that, you know, he knows this, so I can say it. I think I was there to lighten his load. <laughs> Look, I've just discovered you make a wonderful windbreak. I think it's Adam. <laughs> How wide do you think I am? I, I could make him laugh and eventually he came to uh, feel comfortable with me there, I think. We had a great time, actually. He's one of my favourite people. Stevie, get out of the kitchen! So, Joe Bjorki peterson Oh, OK. He didn't like... Um, I, well, he was very anti-condom vending machines. Let's come clean, Elizabeth. I thought you looked a decent sort of a girl. You don't need to tell me you're in that category also. You seem oh, very Oh, Sir Joe, I hope you're not suggesting anything terrible now. I well, wonder if he ever I'm tried one. I, you know, that's a question I would ask today. I could never have asked back then. A little quiz again. What day is it? 
<laughs> what day is it where, Liz? I did an interview once, and it was with, it might have been the Chinese, it was around Tiananmen Square time, and they agreed to do an interview if we gave them the questions. So we gave them the questions, they were in Canberra, and they wrote their answers on auto cue. So I changed the questions. Oh. But surely there must be concern with the Chinese uh, leadership, the Chinese authorities, when you have even diplomatic staff electing to stay in Australia, choosing not to go back to China. It's not a question, see. Sorry, Lord. You don't wish to answer the question? No. We aren't to ask you those sorts of questions, Mr. Zhang? Uh, you you cancelled out about that. I'm so sorry about that. That's uh, something I of a uh, violation of our agreements. When you look back at your years, 10 years is a long time um, to be on a show. Are they really fond memories? Yeah, love them. And why? Um, because they were the best years of my life uh, at that point. I mean, 30 to 40 years of age. I come from the newsroom, um, and this was the easiest thing I'd ever done because it was so natural. I felt really at home, and that's the beauty of the Today Show. It, it allowed me to be who I am, but also to be a journalist and, and to do all those things that we'd love to do live, live television. It was amazing. I, I, they were seriously some of the most magnificent years of my life. Wow. Lizzie Hayes, impressive lady. She is a very impressive lady. A big lady. thank you to Sue over there in London. Thank you so much for joining us, Sue. Thank you, Carl. It's a pleasure to be with you. I right. really, really love the Today Show. Thank you so much. That's very special. Great lady. Talk to mm -hmm. you very Great soon. Lady. And more of these two coming up after the break. Tracy <laughs> is still ready to talk. <laughs> the bed. We'll Stay see. with us. <laughs> Sam may have put a spring into everyone.